Hey folks, it's cloudy, it's chilly, still some drizzle in parts of the valley now. We're still going to go down a little bit more tonight with the strong north winds. It's going to feel even colder. These are your currents. 49 in Westlaco, 50 in Harlington, still 54 at the beach, but not a very big range across the valley. Clouds are thick, and again, there's still a little bit of misty drizzle around, but not a lot. There's still some out there. These are your forecast lows tonight, mid-40s, but you add in a 15 to 25 mile per hour wind, and it's going to feel like it's probably 5 to 10 degrees colder than that. So by the time you wake up in the morning, it's going to feel like it's in the upper 30s. It'll be a cold start to the day. So bundle the kids up as you send them out to the bus stop or take them off to school or even when you go to work. Have a good coat on. It's going to be a cold start to the day. And it's not going to warm up a lot tomorrow. We're back in the 50s with northerly winds all day at 10 to 15. Probably a lot of clouds the first half of the day. By the end of tomorrow, we may see some breaks in those clouds, but even with that, temperatures are not going to warm up much past the mid 50s. The normal high for this time of year, 74. Not going to make it tomorrow. Won't make it Saturday, but we'll be closer, 68, and then Sunday back in the mid to upper 70s across the area. So we're back to average and above, but two more days of below average temperatures, especially tomorrow, which will be probably no warmer than today. It'll start even colder in the morning. Light showers moving across the area on and off much of the day today. Still a few out there, and if we watch future track, it suggests that a lot of the green kind of fades tonight, even at 10 o'clock. Spotty light rain, but not widespread. And again, rainfall totals have been pretty light. We've had 0 0.09 here at our studios in Westlaco, so less than a tenth of an inch. As you look at tomorrow morning at 6 a.m., it's still overcast, still chilly. Could be a little bit of misty drizzle still, but that goes away quickly. And by afternoon, the clouds thin. Now, Future Track says we clear out. I don't know that that'll happen, but certainly we could see some afternoon sunshine, but not very much. More of a thinning of the clouds more than anything else. As we head into Saturday, moisture starts to thicken up just a little bit again, so it's not a clear day. It's a mix of clouds and sunshine on Saturday, probably heavier on the cloud side of that mix. Rain-wise, though, it's tonight, and that 50% for tomorrow is all pre-dawn, because I think once the sun comes up, it's out of here. Then we're dry after that pretty much all the way through the weekend. Rest of South Texas, readings similar to here, 48 San Antonio, 49 in Victoria. It's 48 in Dallas, so the push of the cold air. It's in earnest right now. This cooler stuff pushing into the region and then tomorrow we begin after tomorrow a slow warming trend. A lot of clouds in place across Texas. You can see that dark gray area that covers us and covers most of the state. Cool front south of us now. Secondary push coming in as we speak. Notice overnight that drizzle kind of moves to the south and goes away by tomorrow afternoon. Again, I think there'll still be clouds, but they may thin just a little bit for the end of the day. Saturday winds back around to the east, so it warms it up a little bit, back close to 70. By Sunday, then we're warmer, mid-70s across the area. Another front is due through here, likely Monday. That could trigger a brief shower, but it's not a big deal. The temperatures won't cool off much behind that front. Travel plans tomorrow, 8 o'clock in the morning, San Antonio's 37. Dallas is 32, 20s in West Texas and in the Panhandle. By afternoon, we're only in the 50s, so is San Antonio, so is Houston. A little chillier with sunshine when you get up into the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So your first one, five accurate with a forecast for tonight. Cloudy, chilly, breezy. 46, but with strong winds, north 10 to 15 and gusty. It'll feel like it's in the upper 30s. Then tomorrow, we start cold. Upper 30s is what it's going to feel like. Warms to 56 in the afternoon with maybe, maybe a brightening of the sky late in the day. Again, I think we see a mix of clouds and sun on Saturday. A little bit warmer. Warmer yet on Sunday at 76. We're back to 78 on Monday. A weak cool front comes in. You don't notice so much in the highs, but in the lows, we drop back into the 50s again. Another front then cools us off a little more for the middle of next week, but it looks like sunshine behind that front. That's your updated First One Five. Back here with the forecast.